during innocence. What a good start. What a really good start. Man, really, really sets us up to kind of want to look at the Boros stuff. This is good pack one, pick one. Good rare. Followed up by Toby Bestie Befriender, huh? I know it's Beastie. I like calling them the besties, though, because they really are. Like, all of the beasties feel really good. That's, that's insane. So, creature tokens I control have applying. If I have four or more creatures. So I want to be wanting to look out for the, uh, the twins doing the thing and manifesting. Getting to play, like, Toby and the twins is going to be... Crazy good. Because he makes a body. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. What is this? If a source you control will deal non combat damage to a permanent or a player while there are four more card types among cards in your graveyard, it deals double that damage instead. When it enters, it deals X damage to each of up to X target creatures. This thing seems insane. Roller Crusher Ride. Right? Like, rare, rare, mythic. You're, you're Boros. Like, it's a lot of three drops, you know? Grand Entryway, Elegant Rotunda is a good pickup for us. Painter's Servant wouldn't be a bad. Or a yeah, painter studio, painter servant. <laughs> um, man, I kind of just want to grab the white card since we're already more white. We might splash in a different direction. We might not be able to pick up a bunch of red cards, but we'll, we'll see. I'm not against this. This is this is really good. feel like if I want any kind of delirium anything, Boros, this clockwork percussionist is good. Found footage might make it just for delirium. See, the unwilling vessel is also good. We could go the blue-white enchantment route. Uh, I think I might take the monkey here since we already have the roller crusher ride. I could see that that other card, yeah, because then we would have gotten fear of falling, which is also really good for that. Dagger Maw. Friendly Ghost has been really good. Diversion Specialist, not really. The Ghost still triggers off of the Innocence as well. Uh, as fun as Fear of Falling is, it's a really good card. We're, we're just gonna, we're gonna take the cards on our colors. Oh man, the turn inside out, that's gonna be so good for us. Glimmer Light's a good card here. We're gonna take the, the turn inside out though. Is that a second friendly ghost? That's great. is great uh, we're not really playing anything here so we're just gonna take the rare to set complete that's my fourth rare of that ley line so that's nice um, yeah, I'm not really looking to play any of this uh, try to not play impossible inferno if I can help it we might just take the mask for the uncommon. Try and get some of those gems back. Speaking of railroading, I mean, I got past rare, rare mythic. Like, can you blame me for feeling like that's my seat? 
I don't like drafting like this, but if somebody's just gonna hand me a Boro stack, like I'm not against playing it, you know? I <laughs> get it in the minecart, yeah. The end of the pack where we don't really see anything that's doing what we want to do. Oh, the found footage might see play just to help me get delirium. Surveil to put this in the graveyard. You hit a land and an enchantment creature, you're at delirium. Oh man, rewarded. Hovership, fear of abduction. Like turn inside out, percussionist. This is this is all stuff. And there's another grand entryway. We're taking the hovership here. Absolutely. Removal that just leaves behind a two-two vehicle. Time leaves all right. Ooh, delirium, the hand that feeds. It's going to be a good pickup for what I'm looking to do. See, Gremlin Tamer would be a really good speculative splash. This card's inside. I might actually just pick this up. We might splash the, the Gremlin Tamer if we can. That's such a good card. Looking to help splash, there's the piggy bank, but Midnight Mayhem just making gremlins is, is super good for the little guys that we're looking to play. We might just take the gremlins here. As much as I like the piggy bank, the slayer, the gremlins. Right? It's the gremlins. But just all of our enchantments, all of a sudden coming with a 1 1 token. That could be really good. You know, I only got what, one other room right now? I don't really see us pivoting into the room stuff. I don't see us going green for delirium either. We might just take Terramorphic here for the mana fixing. Otherwise, the best card in the pack is definitely the Smoky Lounge Misty Saloon. Like, it's really good. But I don't know that we have enough rooms. I'll take the Terramorphic for my, my blue splash here. Unwilling Vessels, looking pretty good. There's the twins that I was looking for. This is actually really great for our deck. If we can get out Enduring Innocence and play the Twins, that's make two two twos and draw two cards for four mana, which is crazy good. I don't really want the Orphans of Wheat. We're already up on the Ghosts. A Glimmer Light would be cool here too. I think we take the Twins though. I'm pretty sure Attack, Sacrifice, Permit. If we do draw a card. Interesting. Honestly, it's probably just fear of surveillance. It's an enchantment for our eerie triggers. It's a white, our main color. It's a good two drop. Another hand that feeds. Excellent. I mean, we're already splashing blue. Well, what's a little more, huh? That that might make the cut, honestly. Ooh, percussionists are inside out here. That is a tough decision. You really think so, huh? Inside out arena? You think that's what I should take? All right, I'll let arena decide that one. This one, we want the other hand that feeds. If this wasn't here, I'd just be taking the, the rare, but well, we get a percussionist anyway. Good call arena. Um, we might play this on three. It manifests a two, two. We don't really have the rooms for you, good sir. 
then we can sacrifice it. We don't really need to unlock that. Um, you're all I need collected. So we're not even looking there. Uh, there's really nothing for us in here, huh? No splash, no playable card, like... Wild. All right. Well, we'll take gems, I guess. We're not getting anything else out of that. Ooh, a jolly balloon man. Trapped in the screen. Glassworks. That is tough. I definitely like the Jolly Balloon here, though. He's just a fun guy. And getting him to go with the friendly ghost seems insane. Or even Toby. Now, I guess we don't really want to hit him with Toby because it's he's legendary. Yeah, Balloon Man for tokens, for sure. And there's create a 4-4 four, four beast token. Can't attack or block alone. No, we do hit Toby. We, we clone Toby, but we keep the original Toby. And we just make 4-4s. Four, oh, fear of burning alive with our delirium strat. That's a good top end. Theory of armor, rotunda is pretty good. I wouldn't mind picking up one glimmer light. You know, probably don't need found footage. We're taking the, the fear of burning alive, though. That's that's awesome. Um, I don't really want anything out of this. Like the cursed windbreaker, maybe, but I don't want to splash too many blue cards. Innocence with balloon. Oh yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Balloon man and innocence just gonna be drawing cards like crazy. A winter just to grab it, I guess. We're not splashing for Ripley. Fear of Reduction can be okay. Oh, uh, we're just taking the Dragon Fire. What am I talking about? Dragon Fire. It's like the best removal in the set. Uh, probably want this little guy. Yeah, we're gonna take that little guy. Beads, five color rare. And actually, yeah, nothing else really fits the pack. The orphans kind of does, but we'll take the rare. Go set complete. Oh yeah, all right. Turn inside out. That's good. Seize from slumber could be pretty, pretty decent too as a removal spell. Yeah, we are not going to be slashing you guys, are we? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take the pump spell, make a 2-2. Two, two. Guess just set complete this uncommon. Oh, uh, what? Trapped in the screen wield? Did we cut white that hard? Nobody else wants the white removal? That's amazing, yes. Give me the other rotunda. Uh, Ghost. I don't know that we need three of you. Definitely don't need a healer. A land that doesn't hit a splash for us. Alright. We don't need ticket booth at that point. Uh, your surveillance will help out. Do we have enough enchantments? There's eight. Nah, I don't know. We might cut the Inquisitive Glimmer. It is a two, three for two. Reduces a lot of costs. Enchantment spells cost less. We can reduce the cost of roller pressure ride. I don't really have a whole lot of non-combat sources though. Probably should have grabbed the glassworks. 
At least just one for the the ping on it. Oh man, we can copy hover ships with frickin' the Jolly Balloon Man. Oh, what does the deck look like if we just cut blue? I just what is what does it look like? Right, that's we're just gonna do that. Antagonist, Inside Out, Fear Surveillance, Delirium Guys. We've got a couple of creatures that hit both Enchantment and Artifact. Our creature, I guess we would want to play the Terramorphic just to have the ability to get a land into the graveyard. Delirium is going to be a big payoff. You're really more like a two drop than anything. You really cost four four or more I probably want to hit for like five if I can I really only got one unsettling twins it's kind of unfortunate I don't know I don't hate it this looks all right You know, because then what? This triggers, but we only got. Well, I, I can make enchantments, I guess. I can make enchantment glimmers with the balloon man, huh? Get a copy of a creature. We can make a glimmer or any of our enchantment creatures as a copy and trigger eerie. Oh, man. Is it really worth the splash for both of you, though? Like, what do I cut for these? Right? Like, what would I cut for those? And I don't have an answer. Like the best thing I could think to cut for these would be these hands that feed. So I guess it would look like that. Cut a ghost, putting back a hand to that that feeds in there because even those are good targets to be one one flyers if i have delirium they become three four flying or three one flying menaces like i just like the friendly ghost because i can copy him and get a one one that gives a another creature plus two plus four and flying you could even just target the one one flyer that i make with it and have a three five flying balloon every turn with the Jolly Balloon Man. Nah, no, nah, we're we're not gonna do that. We're we're just we're gonna stick to what it originally was. The Boro stack. Pulse. But, I mean, we gonna go one, two, three, be able to attack, because I have four creatures, have, yeah, this is good. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Alright. Boros is always the right button. Mm -hmm. 
there's the Terramorphic. That's funny. Um, I might actually just... Whatever that was is gone. And now if they want to kill the monkey, that will activate Delirium for us, which... Is good. Well, surveyor. Oh man, I'm so glad I went and got double white. Oh, that was so good. I mean, we, we play the innocents, right? Yeah. You want to give me delirium? You're you're a pal. Ooh, there's the tamer. That is strong for sure. Uh, one, two, three, four. Well, we can fear of burning alive at next turn. I think I'm supposed to play the hand that feeds first to hold up three mana. Oh no! And the twins. Oh, that's fine. We can get the. And then we swing, right? Four two menace. That's fine. I'll take all that out. I have another one. That's fine, get rid of my innocence, uh-huh. Man, I really like the board state right now, Grand Game Treeway, that's fine. Just gonna fear of burning alive. Blast you, get out of here. Same with you and you. <laughs> Just a casual eight, you know? for your 1-1. One, one. Oh, I don't like that. No, I mean, I probably should have, but I just wanted to clean up the board. Two one one glimmer is gonna beat you down. Gonna beat you down. <laughs> All right, game one. Boros wins. That was a good match against the Azorius stuff. Like, it is a very very strong deck if it can get going. Absolutely. All right. 
But, I mean, you saw the power of that rotunda with... The, the Like, I, I really almost just want to splash the Gremlin Tamer. I don't know that the Inquisitive Glimmer is worth it. But the Tamer over one that hand that feeds? I think that's okay. If this card gets jammed in my hand, I, I will eat my words. Ooh, we get a roller coaster ride. I mean, we have a curve of two, three, four potentially here. So we, we play it out. Yeah, if it's if it's a dead card in my hand and sits there for too long, I will I'll just pull it pull it out. Yeah, we get a curve out fully. This is this is uh maybe not quite, because it only says up to two creatures, huh? I don't know that I want to waste that like that. Strangler, there's the ghost. Uh, let's see if you take it. No, don't want to. All right, interesting. Uh, yeah, and we kind of want delirium before we do that, but. Vessel, okay. Man, there's a balloon man. Woo! And the ghosts. I think we're supposed to twins here. Perfect, easy choice. Uh, no attacks this time. Devil that you know or the one you don't. I'm going for the one you do. Interesting. I'd be sending that. One hundred percent I would be sending that. How do we maximize this turn? I think we just friendly ghost, buff the glimmer, and send it. We send it all. They're not going to block. This thing's crazy, though. If you can get extra counters on it. It's like that uh, the doll doesn't care what kind of counters, just that it had counters. Meat locker. Yeah, that's fine. Be a little sad. I'm gonna be a little sad. All right, so I definitely want to trap in the screen here. I'm just gonna get rid of the unwilling vessel like that. That's crossed off the list. I think I just pass here. I want to hold up turn inside out defensively, which I really don't, but I do this turn just to try and block, kill something, and get a 2 2 back out of it. Um, that's amazing, actually. Okay. 
Does that mean you're thinking about attacking me? You are. Um, I think we get rid of the Vigilance creature. You don't want to sacrifice? You could have sacrificed and dealt damage. Uh, yes. Amazing. And a hover ship. Activate only as a sorcery, so I can only balloon man on my turn. I think we go Midnight Mayhem this turn. And attack with just the three life lifers. That gave me Delirium, so now this is activated. But Balloon Man Mothership, I think, is just going to end the game here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll make the token. Do it. You know you want to. Control the game from here. Oh, go looking. That is a little unfortunate. that opponent. I think Boros wins again. Now nah, your weight room isn't going to do anything, unfortunately. The burrower a little bit. But I think we go... Balloon Man, fire up the UFO, we Balloon Man the UFO, the UFO eats your 5-5, five five. we swing,
Yeah, the monkey dupes can be kind of fun because it's a one-one flying monkey, but I, I like the uh, the hover ship combo. I mean, it didn't slow us down any having that blue splash, so. I mean, it's there. It's a little slow, but it's there. Ghost vacuum, huh? Well, that's not good. It's gonna eat a lot of my delirium stuff, so... We'll have to see how this, this plays out. This won't get to do delirium. Ooh, we missed the white for that. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, that's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Gonna be a little bit short. That is unfortunate that I can't even do that for the one to clear the way. I might just do this now. Uh-huh. <laughs> you already know it, buddy. Can't have you messing with my delirium like that. Go ahead and eat one more card. It doesn't really matter. I know attacks. You'll probably play a creature and get to buff it and swing for three. No, you don't even get to do that. Okay, we're still just no mana drawn. All right, well. Not a whole lot I can do about this. If the mana is not there, I can't play the cards. Enduring tenacity, that's not good. So three, two. I mean, it's not the best, but I get an upgrade. Boo! All right, well, we'll manifest the terramorphic. That's kind of hilarious, actually. Um, friendly ghost. Get in for the damage while I can. Yeah, no. I'll take the four back, that's fine. Oh no, my Terramorphic expands. That's five, that's a little better. Cast Innocence. 
we'll be able to do the rotunda and pump. Alright, well. Had delirium for all the half a second. That was cool. Uh, we can do both here, right? We can go monkey. Oh, we get to draw a card on top of that? That's so stupid. Alright, hover ship. Get rid of that. <laughs> How about that? My enduring's still on the board. Where's yours? Oh, here we go. Make two, two, twos. Draw two. Oh, I only get to draw one, but still. Um, I probably should have put the other one in there. That would have given me one stop closer, and I don't know, I don't know if it's the same thing. Um, I can't unlock that. I need one more. Do that though. Um, honestly, if we get delirium going, roller crusher ride right into fear of burning alive is gonna be gross. Especially if I can balloon man any of that. <laughs> roller crusher, fear of burning alive, balloon man. What a combo. Okay. <laughs> The deck seems fire. It's got some synergies. We're doing all right so far. Um, now we get to play with the. Uh, what is this? It's so tempting. If this was a red instead of a blue mana, I might do it. Wow. That is rough, but that is keepable. Oh, this is gonna be a rough game. 100%. Hey, activate. No! What is the start? Oh, we're cooked. We are so cooked. I don't know which one to grab with the hover ship. It's gotta be the scavenger, right? Oh no, look at it go. <laughs> this is gonna suck. This is just because I got this little thing in my deck, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get your damage in. Ooh. Alright, there might be hope. There might be hope. Because if we get to just go hover ship, eat your guy, and then we can just balloon man hover ship. Land enchantment creature f turn inside out will be delirium at that point. Boo! Calamity. No, you don't need an unblockable. It's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, I'm just going to take the cheerleader for now. Then for the beats. 
not like I was blocking anything anyway. Honestly, I, I had three straight wins. I was expecting to run into somebody with the juice. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is nuts. Look, we might just die right here. Not quite. Pretty damn close, though. Pretty damn close. There's not a whole lot uh, going for us here, is there? Thing unblockable and win, right? Because because if they don't, I take it, but then I don't have enough blockers. That's so lame. So lame. Let's hope it's not uh, three straight wins and just three straight losses. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. It's not good at all. I mean, that's a little bit better. I think we are going to keep six and put him on the bottom, but then I immediately get a shuffle to back. Just play him right now. He's gonna be such a just wide open target. Yeah, whatever. You gonna counter my balloon man? No, you're gonna plane cycle. Okay. Vessel. Okay. Friendly Ghost, Balloon Man, and Swing On. Yeah, you ain't trading. <laughs> it's back. Yeah, I told you, just shuffle it away. Do the thing, it's fine. Can't cast it yet, but... No, Balloon Man. That's gross. Oh, I wasn't going to block it anyway.
Ooh. I gotta do the actual creature. That sucks. Why wouldn't you hit the flyer? You're weird. You're weird. What do we got in there? So if we do turn inside out, this gets menace. But only if we do it before we attack. No, uh, we're just gonna end the turn. We're we're on the back foot all of a sudden. This silly blue white deck that people have started putting together. That's first strike. Jesus. Almost there. Five four first strike. land I need to cure that kill that fear of falling Woo! get that out of here That's the 4-3, but it still got first strike. So we can't. I think I just block it with the gremlin. Huh. 
<laughs> Let's go off. Do we just win if we attack? Four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So two of these are gonna get through, and I can just pump. First strike. But I'm getting through a six damage. Okay. Cool. <laughs> we win. <laughs> Taken down another Azorius aggro deck with my Boros aggro deck. Woo! <laughs> Alright, little gremlin guy. You, you've earned your keep. The gremlin tamer. That was rough. Very rough. I, I think being able to make the four blockers, though, and be able to swing out like that with the advantage and the pump spell like even if they had something i had protection for the crack back uh turn one turn two mana fix no we got to do this the double planes so we don't get to do the terramorphic and get the friendly ghost on curve because it's going to be clockwork planes planes to play the hover ship possibly yeah, whatever. That's good. We'll, we'll we'll play it out. We'll see what happens. Monkey. Another mountain. Well, I guess we get to cast the friendly ghost on curve too. Oh. You're gonna be a little sad. Um, yeah, that's fine, I guess. for a good amount of damage. All right, yeah, murder my ghost. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So what do we do here? We go here, here, <laughs> and here. And we can activate this. Get that. Flying 2-2, two, two, that's so hard to kill. <laughs> Alright, that's all of those castable. What do you got? He costs three, so we can hand. 
And I got a feeling they're holding something up for the hover ship. I think I'm just gonna swing and surveil. Artifact, creature, land. I'm gonna exile the hover ship. Okay. You can get the manifest. And you get to eat my 1 1 for free. The hand that feeds is potentially getting in for eight next turn. Whew. All right, well, they decided to take care of it. Um, I mean, I know we're gonna manifest dread that, and I don't think that is really what I want. So, no. Yeah, I kind of need that now. Now you can't do the thing, that's fine. Trade, trade. Not scared, you're scared. You have this turn to kill me, opponent. I'm not blocking. Activate your tie bar. No, you're gonna try and do it next turn? Okay. So I do think it is 
Balloon Man. Ooh. I can still do it, that's fine. We do have Scorching Dragonfire for the Slasher. Uh, we might have to use it on the Brood Spinner actually just to make sure that the 1-1s one can still get in. Swing for 7. We're racing my guy, we're racing. Oh, why didn't you swing with both of those? this turn? <laughs> I don't think I can quite kill you this turn. I can. Oh no, I'm one short, motherfucker. You don't have a haste. I thought it had haste. Don't know why I thought it had haste. Hey, we got to do it. The Balloon Man wins again. Oh my god. Why is Boro so good? She's <laughs> <laughs> just crushing it. No, because Balloon Man pumped the token that could attack into a 3-5 flyer, and then the new Balloon token has haste and pumps itself into a 3-5 flyer, and I get 6 flying damage that way. Where if I don't Balloon Man first, I don't really have a whole bunch of flying damage. I mean, it's going to do the thing. We're not going to be able to do it. I mean, I have to keep this, but unfortunately my 2-drop is unplayable, which sucks. You know, because even if I draw the island for it, I don't have the planes for it, so. Um, you want things in the yard, I want things in the yard. Alright, well. He's like, no, I want this faithful to reanimate something. That's fine, my guy. No. 
Oh no. Do I really need to trap in the screen that? Or do I just wait until he does it to hit the Altenac? To do you do the thing, get your alternac back. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I'm gonna hit alternac. Hope he doesn't have any enchantment removal to get it back. But yeah, do it. This is the turn to do it, my guy. So scary. Whatever will I do? Yoink. <laughs> What's as cool is this is going to put something on. We get to manifest dread and draw a card out of this. Oh, man. Well, that sucks. I got to do that. Draw a card, exile a card. All right, well, we got mana. Unfortunately, lost that, but that has delirium now, right? No. I already had an artifact in there, damn it. Nah, you can get in for three. Right? So scary. Anyway. You didn't say his name three times. You can't have him. <laughs> you only said his name once. <laughs> oh, there's our six mana. I like that. That's really cool. So if we go friendly ghost... Target here. There's the balloon man. Um, as long as they control four or more creature tokens, creatures I control have flying. Only got the one. That's fine though. I think we just swing with our eight damage, gain four life.
Exile Target Enchantment. Fine. You got it. We are about to be making 4-4s four galore with Toby and the Balloon Man. Just... Uh, turn inside out. <sighs> That's fine, I guess. Good little two for one. I'm still ahead on board. Yeah, we're just going to try to make four Toby tokens. This just reminds me of that Monsters, Inc. movie. Creature tokens. All right, well, whatever. Still, if I can get four tokens, I'll have... 4-4 four, four flying tokens. Um... Choose the one that you wish to keep. I want to keep the original. So theoretically, next turn, I can make a copy of Toby, keep the balloon copy, make another 4-4, four, four, and I'll have four tokens, three of which will be 4-4 four, four flyers. No, they had the removal! Oh no, that only works on my creatures, my guy. Ward abilities of those creatures don't trigger. This isn't a creature. That was the, that was a big oops. Oh, it's the dick twister. Well, that ruins some of this. Block or die. I mean, I wanted to, but they murdered my balloon man. Like, what am I going to do about that? It's 
fine. Get the land out of the way. Man, you got a really good Jun deck going. A really good Jund deck going. Unfortunately... Is that everything? Oh, cancel. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no, no, I've got that. I can pay that. One, two, three, four. Pay, auto pay. And then we just go ping, 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 ping. Get in. <laughs> well, that's twice you've said his name. One more time, and you might be able to actually have him. Gotta wait one more. That's fine, because the hand that feeds needs to be blocked by two of your creatures. That menace is gonna get you. What are the chances that the one card left in their hand is removal? Why am I still just drawing lands? Yeah, we just go for it. The menace is gonna get it. There it is. There it is. Even with a dead card in our hand. We have lost teeth, that's fine. I'll make a 1-1 one, one you can kill. We do need to kill that before we play Toby though. Sergeant Eagle Fort. All right. Let's go, Toby. That is rough.
Okay. There's that delirium. Please swing four menace. Final vengeance. Oh my god, they just got it all. Um what is it? It's exiling the creature, right? Exile target creature. Cool. we can do about that one. Not a whole lot I can do about that one. I mean, you can get one or the other. No, you don't get that. I don't I don't I don't think so. I don't like it. a grip full of cards and we're down to one <laughs> that is not looking great well people have figured out how to put Rakdos Sacrifice together in this that surprise surprise I do get in for what four, and I get a manifest dread. Enough. 
Capture enchantment instant land. Yeah, we got delirium. That's fun. I don't know that it's enough. Sacrifice another thing. Ooh, that is just too many inside outs. Good beats. Good beats, opponent. I got stuck on needing double red. It's alright, we got one more attempt. Final boss. This one we're gonna get to do Balloon Man and the what's it called? to enduring innocence here. Oh, if you counter this. Wow! <laughs> what? Alright, that's, that's fine, I guess. Wild. trap Ooh, the tools are going to be rough to be Have been even nicer if you wouldn't have exiled my enduring whatever, but you did.
Dagger Maw, huh? Sacrifice a creature to it. What a wild delirium deck they got going. Uh huh? I see it. I see it. Box. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of mana. Can outvalue who? If they have any kind of pump or removal spell, this hurts a lot. But three for one. You just gotta make sure you deal one damage to each of them. To grind through, but I think we've got the setup to do it. Come back, yeah. Balloon, balloon, and Toby is amazing. Yep. Just the value there. <laughs> Just the value of making a four-four every turn. Ah uh, man. Well, we did it again. Boros beats. That's, that's twice Boros has carried us to a trophy in Duskmorn. Thank you, Boros, for converting my gold to gems.